Good evening and welcome. Glad to have you along for this Tuesday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce, our reporter. Now, New York starting five. They've got Josh Hart. Miguel Bridges is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's OG Ananobi, and it's Towns in at the five. And for the Celtics, Holiday at the one with White at the two. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum in the front court. And it's Porzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. Grant, looking at these two teams, my attention is drawn to the front court matchup. Oh, yeah, this should be a battle on the baseline. Great to watch skilled bigs trade blows and show off what they can do down low. Hard against Tatum. Sinks that one from the post. It can be a very difficult thing to check Jason Tatum because of the multitude of ways he can score it. Give me the floater game, JT. Now here's Bridges. The kick out to Brunson. Towns a screen on Holiday. Five to shoot. Here's Brunson. No good. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. One thing you can say about Boston, Grant, they know how to put a team together. Yeah, the Celtics' consistency of winning is just impressive, both now and throughout their entire history. They are really the gold standard in this league. And it's mostly because of great draft picks and great trades. Now here's Brown. Sinks the trade. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Hart. Runs on a screen on Tatum. Hart from long range. Porzingis grabs the board. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Porzingis sets a screen. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Brown against Ananobi. Brown can't hit. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Back to Hart. The 11 footer. And he nails the jumper. Hart. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Tatum looking it over. Hart with the defensive effort. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Pass to Brunson. Now here's Ananobi. Towns outside. Back to Ananobi. Here's Brunson. No good there. Off the double clutch. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Brown passes to Tatum. Now Porzingis fires from deep. Again, the miss by Boston. Outside Hart. Shoots over Tatum. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Boston out in front, up by three. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And for Boston guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. And New York has possession. It's a three-point game. We've got Jason Tatum. Luke Cornett out there with Al Horford. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. And it's Hauser in at the small forward position. That's the Boston Five. And 
Nick Tatum's got the ball here for the Celtics. Doris, how about the evolution of Jalen Brunson's career from role player to star player? Yeah, B.A., he begins his career as a backup point guard to the great Luka Doncic. But when given an opportunity to thrive without Luka in the playoffs, he did just that. Then he gets his own team and takes his game to an MVP level. Incredible evolution. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Doris, how about the emergence of Jalen Brunson? The Knicks got him as a free agent. B.A., it's incredible because the Knicks, when they signed him back in the summer of 2022, many voices were out there saying it's an overpay. You paid Jalen too much. Well, guess what? All NBA performer, and that contract looks like a bargain. And that's good as he hits both shots. Well, Grant, with players getting bigger and more athletic, do you support moving the restricted area out? Yeah, B.A., I would. We've seen a lot of injuries when defenders slide underneath elevated players on the drive. So cutting down that risk makes a lot of sense. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, last season, Jason Tatum surpassed 10,000 career points. He said, it sounds crazy. I always think about when I was a kid growing up with my mom and saying I wanted to be in the NBA. I may have thought I would be one of the best players, but to actually do it is a surreal feeling. Brian, he's being honest. Yeah, dreams do come true, Allie. Thank you. Now here's McBride. Two minutes remaining in the first half. The kick out to Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. Generously listed as 6'1", Jalen Brunson knows his way around the inside and painted area. Look out. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. One thirty-six left to play in the first half of basketball. Horford finds Tatum, lets it go from deep. Offensive rebound. Here's Pritchard, yet to see a basket. Here's Cornette. Over to the left wing. Pass to Pritchard. Horford with it. Tries yet again. Hey, strong move, Tatum. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is timeout, nice. Timeout. And timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. Our coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Attention fans, now on the court is your hype squad. Get loud and look at O'Hare. Let's see which section can be the loudest for a free t-shirt. A big group substitution here for Boston. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Cornette. Brown comes in for Tatum. White, he's checked in for Hauser. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. Six seconds left in the second. Bridges outside. Launches a three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Well, in catch and shoot opportunities, you've got to have good feet and pre shot preparation. Mikhail Bridges, yes, sir. White finds Horford. Outside, Brown. Let's go with a three. Downtown, Jalen Brown. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Bridges outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's McBride. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside White. Takes a three. That shot, no good. Ah! 
that'll do it for the first half. Boston out in front, leading by eight. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with Coach Thibodeau and Coach the rebounding differential not in your favor. What do you see? Well, they're going every time. And we got to put a body on people. They go get it. Got to increase that effort level. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Wow, it's been quite a game for Jalen Brown. <laughs> yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. Well, he knows they're coming for him, but he's accustomed to that kind of attention, and he's quite comfortable dealing with it. And, of course, Boston winning eight consecutive titles from 1959 to 1966. Doris, do you think we'll ever see a streak like that again? B.A., I think that's almost impossible in this day and age. With free agency, with more salary cap restrictions, it's just hard to win two in a row these days, let alone eight. My goodness. And on the floor for Tom Thibodeau as we get into the second half. OG Ananobi out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Brunson in at point guard. Now here's Hart. Pass to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Hard against Porzingis. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. The shot by Towns. No good. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Holiday taking his time here with his first shot attempt. Misses off the left iron. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. The kick out to Brunson. Back to Towns. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. Great D that time from Porzingis. Offensively, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the most well-rounded big men in the league, Grant. Yeah, maybe in league history, B.A. He's an elite three-point shooter, old score, and his passing is severely underrated. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Brian, it's great hearing Celtics coach Joe Mazzula talk shop. He said everybody tries to break basketball up into offense and defense, but it's one game. Your spacing, decision-making, and shot selection set up your defense. That transition happens so fast, so the game is constantly changing. It's all connected, Brian. No question. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff there. Now here's White. He's scoreless. Outside Tatum. The three is up. Tatum drills the three. How about the answer from Jason Tatum? Say it with your chest, Jason. Knicks trail by eight. Outside Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Fires the three. Boston pulls it in. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. New York has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Brunson against Holiday. And that one's good. Brunson. Brunson's got his second basket. We know that the defense in today's NBA wants to take away the rim and the three. Mr. Brunson says, I'll take that mid-range. And so it's Boston with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their play has earned them a nice lead, one they'll look to build on as the game continues. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. 
And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Tatum is the four with Porzingis at center. The perimeter pairing is white and brown. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. That's the Boston Five. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rise and fire from three point, and it is on target. Brunson with it. Inside. And it's Towns with the power finish. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Boston leading by seven. And here's Holiday. Outside Tatum. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by Jalen Brunson. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Arc passes to Brunson. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Yeah, don't let Brunson's size fool you. This guy operates consistently on the interior. Holiday finds Tatum. Now here's Porzingis. Tatum with a screen. Porzingis passes to Brown. This one for three. Sinks it from distance. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. And timeout is called by Tom Thibodeau. Looking to get everyone dialed in and engaged. And it's to the floor right now is something entertainment. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey guys, over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. He made it very clear. They need to work the ball inside, saying, quote, they haven't blocked a shot yet. Bring the ball to them. Make them defend us down low. Let's see how they take that advice. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks once again. And there's a minute 45 left in the game. 13 feet out. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Boy, how highly skilled is Jalen Brunson with the ball in his hands? The ability to get anywhere on the floor that he wants to go. Tatum with it, and it's Brunson picking him up. Foul on Josh Hart. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. So it's Boston now. Tatum from long range. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Brunson. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Tatum's got a rebound number five here tonight. Right. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on OG Ananobi. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle, as Derek White did there. Well, the first one drops and that makes it a seven point lead we talk about high effort players well Derek White embodies that very description always working hard always looking to outwork his opponent so he goes two for two at the line and it's an eight point ball game 110 left in the fourth quarter Outside Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Fires for three. And he buries it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. You can see that OG Ananobi wants the opportunity to deliver in a big moment and does. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Every moment counts here. They have got to get moving. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. 
Ananobi can't get it to go. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Pass to Tatum. Outside, Brown. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Fades away and sinks a tough shot. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. We see Boston get the win here. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave him a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. A lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of poise, and uh, we'll be fine. Poise normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And let's reveal our player of the game, Jason Tatum.